Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is 2126, Thursday, March the 7th, and it is time for our weekly Should You Summon video. We're going to discuss whether you should be summoning this weekend on the 10X banner, the 2X banner, and the Ancients banner, or all of them. Who knows? Let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Let's go to our event calendar. Here we go. Starting tomorrow, Friday, March the 8th, we have four banners that are going active. We have Special, Divine, and Invocation. These are your, This is your 10X banners. We're going to discuss those more in depth. And then the Crazy Divine and Crazy Invocation, this is your 2X banner. So the the let's start with the easy ones first, right? The crazy divine, crazy invocation. This is a, a two times rate. It's a double rate what it normally is. So for invocation of spirits, this is your your blue summons and your diamonds. It's double the rates that it normally is. So normally you have about half a percent chance to pull a legendary. If you pull during this event, you have a one percent chance to pull a legendary. But there's no increased rates for any specific legendaries. You just have a higher likelihood of pulling a legendary. Uh, crazy invocations are really, really good for younger accounts that need more legendaries to fill up their roster to increase their capability in all content. So uh, two times spanners are good. Crazy divine, same thing, two times rates to get a legendary, but this is for your gold summon. So your gold summons, normally you have a 6% chance of getting a legendary. You pull on this, you have a 12% chance, which is really, really good. That's a high chance of getting a legendary champion. So um, often golds are used here in general. So should you be pulling on those? Uh, if you have a younger account and you really need to flesh out your roster, then yeah, you should be pulling on the two X banners for sure. Especially with a, a young account, you there's there's so many champions, and as the roster has grown over the last you know nine months or so now. Um, there's more champions that are able to do more things. You have a lot more options. So uh, all legendaries are useful, all right? No matter what anyone tells you. Um, some are just more useful than others. So if you have a newer account, you want the best chance at pulling some legendaries, and that is with your 2X banners. So that is where you should be pulling for the people that have a little bit more progressed account, they don't need quite as many options. They're, you know, ch hunting for specific champions, or uh, they they have, you know, there's a handful of champions that they don't have, but they really want to narrow the the likelihood that they get a good one that they want one specifically for their account. That's what these 10x banners are for. So normal rates to pull a legendary or an epic on this banner so legendary half a percent for blues six percent for golds okay but if you happen to pull a legendary then you have an increased chance of pulling these champions well these two hatsa and artemis if you happen to pull a legendary you've got a higher chance and the the banner says 10x but the way they do the math is is kind of wonky i'm not going to get into the details um, you can check out some of Fastidious's videos if you're interested in the details on the math. But from data mining, all of the rates, Hatsit is normally in an ultra rare uh, bucket by herself. And the only champs in the game that have a lower rate than her are Leia and Morrigan. So how, how they uh, split up their champs and do their math in this banner, her rate is going up to like, I don't know, 18% or something like that ish, right? From her normal, uh, you know, op point something, uh, it's like a 20X or a 30X. I think it's like a 30X banner for her. It's absolutely insane. It's a great opportunity to get Hatsit if you don't have her. And she is a phenomenal champion. She's excellent in PVE. She's excellent in PVP with all of the Boreas nerf drama. A lot of people have been joking and some people being serious that she's next on the chopping block because she is so good in virtually all content. So she when you deploy her she is invisible when she attacks she applies defense reduction to enemies she has crazy burst damage with her ult um 
excellent, excellent, excellent champion, both for progression and the end game. Artemis is the other legendary on the banner, and he's new. This is his first uh, appearance on the global server. Folks have already, you know, played with him on the test server. We've gotten a good idea of him. He's really good. He's a healer that can also put out really good damage. He applies anti-healing to folks when he ults to enemies. So excellent for gear raid one, excellent for uh, soon to be released gear raid four. He can put out great damage and good heals. Um, really, really, really good champion also. So these are two absolutely top tier legendaries, all right? So if you're not a brand new account that needs 2x rates to try to get anything, if you're more progressed, then you sh probably want to be pulling on this banner. I would say the vast majority of people want to be pulling on this banner because these are two excellent champions. Um, exceptions to that for folks that, if you already have Hatsit, her awakenings are good but not exceptional until her A5, I think. Her A5, I'm pretty sure she gets like an extra third damage or something. Um, it increases her burst damage quite a bit more. Up to that, it's good, but um, not crazy, right? So if you already have her, um, unless you plan on super whaling to try to get as many copies of her as possible during this event where she actually has rates where she's possible to get, yeah, in that case, you do you. Try to get her A5. Let's be friends. Join the Discord server. Um, but if you're not doing that and you already have her and you already have a really healthy roster and you don't need Artemis for Gear Raid 1 or Gear Raid 4, then maybe forego this. Um, Moonton has been putting out a lot of really good banners lately. Uh, I, personally, I'm starting to get kind of tired of, um, I'm, I'm starting to get a little burnt out of, of, of pulling, honestly, a good banner after a good banner after a good banner after a good banner. I feel like they really need to pump the brakes a little bit personally. That's just Jake talking, right? But these are two excellent champions. So for a lot of people, for the vast majority of people, you want both of these champions on your account. Um, so absolutely. And then also if you, Olag is really, really good. Now there's a 10x rate for them as epics, right? Now, the argument here could be, you know, if you have a younger account, maybe you pull on the 10x to try to get Olag copies, which I could see the argument there, but with three epics in the pool with the increased rate, uh, the chances of pulling him aren't um, in your favor uh, compared to higher chances of getting a legendary that will impact your account and and the reason that i would argue against that is because everyone gets a free copy of olag in void rift okay so scorch and azoth are you know interesting you can use them for some niche stuff if you don't have other options they're not they're not terrible champions but there are way better champions that can do the same thing and do a better job so they get outclassed very early on and olag you get for free from Vo nightmare or not nightmare excuse me but from void rift um so most people that are mid to end game are going to want to be pulling this weekend for Hatsa and or Artemis. Uh, most younger accounts are going to be want to be pulling on the 2x banner. And then if, uh, if you have a really progressed account, maybe you forego this one, take a breath, save up for uh, something big or maybe the next exclusive. I'm going to be pulling. I want Artemis just because... Um, I, I don't need him, but he, on my account personally, he's my only non-legendary lord, non-ancient exclusive champion now on the account. So I want him for the next time that Moonton does a guaranteed non-dupe event, like they did for New Year's, where when you pull a legendary, it's one that you're guaranteed not to have on your account. So the next time they do that, I want it to be one of the legendary lords that I don't have on my account. Looking at you, Leia, up here in the corner. Um, so hopefully I pull Artemis and I pull him fast just for that reason. But other than that, I, I wouldn't be pulling this weekend myself. So on the ancient summoning event, this is just a normal ancient summoning event. All right. So there's no increased rates. There's no increased chances of anything. It's just, hey, pull for ancients, which 
uh, your your ancient summons give you your your chaos champs and your supreme arbiters, which are uh, very very strong champs. They're excellent, uh, pretty much everywhere, right? They are um, the stronger class of champions. All right. The reason why you probably don't want to pull on this ancient summoning event is because we know that there is very soon going to be a 10x ancient banner on Torador, who's nightmare legendary lord and a really good champ it opens up a lot of options uh in a lot of different content uh specifically and most notably in guild boss but in addition to that we also know that a new chaotic lord valderon will be getting released in the not too distant future and he is really 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 good so we know that a torador banner is coming this month in march it's in the code already we know valderon is coming in the not too distant future they have not done a 10x banner on praetis yet so they're going to want to cash in on that before too long and the big one, if you are super patient, Moonton has not done a 2x banner for Ancients yet. Um, and that would be wild. I believe they've done it once on the Forerunner server. I'm of the opinion, I have some suspicions that maybe they're, you know, it might happen for a big event this year, like maybe for their one year anniversary coming up in a couple months or maybe uh the next holiday season they'll do something like that so you should be saving for one of those banners because there's so few legendaries in the ancient pool between the chaotic and the supreme arbiters there's so few that if you pull a legendary on a raid up banner you are almost guaranteed to pull that champion it, it because the pool is so much smaller than the normal pool with your blues and your golds you really want to take advantage of those banners all right so wait for the right banner that you need for your account and we know that good ones are on the horizon so uh 2x banners if you have a younger account pull on those 10x if you're mid to end game and or just trying to fill out the pokedex right pull on that and then for ancients probably don't but um you know, if you want to get some ancients and you pull for every ancients, then yeah, absolutely have fun. No matter where you decide to pull this weekend, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments, join the discord server. Let me know there. I love hearing about people's luck. Um, and, and, uh, weekends are fun. Even if I'm getting burnt out from pulling, they're still exciting for, uh, the community, right? So, um, let me know how you do. And that is this video. So thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.